so this is in continuation of the tire removal video now the new tire is in I'll be putting the link of that in the description if you want to see how that is done uh, but uh, now we're just gonna make the video of how the tire goes in again a simple process this is your sprocket this is the well that one danced okay this is the spacer make sure it's in there now the sprocket like this make sure the rubbers are all there everything is checked in yeah this goes in good enough yeah so the sprocket is in just keep rolling the tire forward make sure the other sprocket does not fall off and this should be easy well this is easy actually line this back in that's going straight yeah let me catch yeah that did it everything aligned aligned here as well now that is why we had rested the chain like this put it back. Yeah, I hope you can see that yeah putting the chain and here we go here we go here we go so the chain is again all the way in and the spacer and the bracket are all in again now all that is left to do is my uh, extra rod is already greased if yours is not please do grease it makes it easier for things in now one small kind of tip to make things easier just take a screwdriver to just pry some gap not to damage anything just slightly yeah that much should do this has again come off this is gonna be a tricky tricky bit so here we go again yeah spacer goes in now when we move the tire up the disc should be in the I'm gonna use my hand yeah that's it that did it and no that did not <laughs> yeah these kind of things are easier if you have a mate helping you out but on the roadside you may not have that luxury so we have to find a way how to do it lift it use your leg to use the spacer or wedges and that does it okay now that that is in i hope you can see those yeah i can use my hands maybe to just align them properly so this tire does not slip yeah that should do it and just before you insert the axle align this properly you can see this need to come back yeah that kind of does it doesn't it yeah that would do it now the spacer on that side might, might fall again that's okay but the idea is first to get the rod in from this side it's not gonna work this easily if it's not aligned and I think it is not it seemed aligned uh, okay. yeah that should do it just keep sliding back whoa 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 don't do that to me yeah there you go there you go there you go so 
Now we just have to check that there's this line on this side as well. And it does not even close. I hope you can see that it's all up and down. But we can fix that. Now oh, the new tire looks good. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm not even been offloading much. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll get even more dirty. I'll sit on the ground like this. Use one more wedge to align the tire. And lift it with my leg. The good old fashioned way. And then try and push it in. None of it is going to work if this is not aligned. Rest assured. Yeah, it's going in. Ah, guys. Now, while you're doing that, just make sure these don't move like this one has moved. I'm going to tap it back in. Otherwise, we'd have to realign the chain as well. Yeah, now this is kind of line. What about this one? This is already in. I hope you can see that. There is no point pushing it if you cannot see that this is not correctly in the center. That is the idea. Almost, almost in. Yeah. Removing the wedges now. This is how much it remains out. So, and the final thing, this is you can see slightly misaligned. Yeah, at this point, I can use the ammo. <laughs> Took fight, but that's okay. All that's left to do now is to put this back in. Make sure brake is aligned. Make sure these screws are tight. Yeah, no space here as well. Chain indeed needs cleaning. That will be done later. Everything seems okay. Yeah. Final thing: tire rotation should be this way. Yeah. All done. Just use these and tighten it. At the cost of repeating myself, don't tighten it too much. That can get a bit tricky take out your rear wheel bearings sooner uh, mine are okay I did check them uh, next time if I do a check I'll post a video maybe but yeah they are good to go so how much do I tie them only enough to make sure that yeah that does it That's not coming loose. Okay, perfect. So tire taken out. I'm sorry. Entire rim wheel assembly taken out. New rim, new wheel put in. Tire put back in. Did a review of Rescue Deck electronic air pressure gauge. And that looks good. That looks good. Again, comparing that to the old tire, you can see this was way, way out and okay that's it for today cheers